This video will discuss the sets of numbers. Welcome to my math class, Mathematics Made Easy. Click like and subscribe. What is a set? A set is a well-defined collection of objects or things which are called elements of the set. The sets of numbers. The capital letter N represents the set of natural numbers. When you see this symbol or this letter in a mathematics book, you read it as the set of natural numbers. Example of natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, until infinity. The capital letter W represents the set of whole numbers. You read it as the set of whole numbers. The set of whole numbers includes 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth until infinity. The capital letter Z is the symbol used to represent the set of integers. And it is read as the set of integers. The set of integers are from negative infinity, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, until positive infinity. The following are the subsets of the set of integers. The Z with a plus on the upper right side is the symbol used to represent the set of positive integers. And it is read as the set of positive integers. And the positive integers includes 1, 2, 3, 4, up to positive infinity. The Z with the negative on the upper right is the symbol used to represent the set of negative integers. And it is read as the set of negative integers. From negative infinity, up to negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1 are examples of the set of negative integers. 0 is neither positive nor negative. The capital letter Q is used to represent the set of rational numbers. It is read as the set of rational numbers. The set of rational numbers are of the form P over Q, where P and Q are integers and Q should not be equal to zero. Examples of rational numbers are negative 1.75, negative 1, negative 2 thirds, 0, 1 half, 0 0.75, and 1. In other words, a rational number could be a uh, fraction, an integer, and a decimal. The capital letter I is used to represent the set of irrational numbers. And when you see this letter I in a mathematics book, you read it as the set of irrational numbers. The set of irrational numbers are numbers which cannot be expressed in the form P over Q or it is a non-rational number. Examples of irrational numbers are pi, E, square root of 2, square root of 3. E is equal to 2.718218. It is also called Euler's number. P 
pi is equal to 3.1415926, so on and so forth, without n. The capital letter R represents the set of real numbers. When you see the capital letter R in mathematics book, you read it as the set of real numbers. The set of real numbers includes all of the above sets of numbers. That means that it includes the set of natural numbers, the set of whole numbers, the set of rational numbers, and the set of irrational numbers. When you see this symbol, this represents the set of imaginary numbers. And it is read as the set of imaginary numbers. An imaginary number is i, 2i, 3i, where i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So whenever there is a negative number inside the radical sign, then it is an imaginary number. The capital letter C represents the set of complex numbers. And when you see this in mathematics book, you read it as the set of complex numbers. The complex numbers are of the form A plus BI, where A and B are real numbers, and I is equal to the square root of negative 1. This is the Venn diagram of the sets of numbers. We have the natural numbers, the whole numbers, the integers, the rational numbers, the real numbers, the irrational numbers, the imaginary numbers, and the complex numbers. So this is the Venn diagram of the sets of numbers. Thank you for watching my math class, Mathematics Made Easy. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thank you and see you next video.